What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over how to lay Schluter Dietra, which is an uncoupling membrane. So for this project, if you've been following along, so far we've started with a wooden subfloor, which is on the second story. We've prepped the subfloor, we laid self-leveler. Um, so if you want to check out how we prepped and how we laid the self-leveler, you can check out my previous videos. Um, but for now, we are going to lay the uncoupling membrane. Now, if you don't know what an uncoupling membrane is, that is basically what it does is it makes a barrier between the subfloor and your tile so that if there is movement below, that the tile and the subfloor move separately from each other so that it doesn't um, cause cracks in your tile installation. So I've decided that I'm going to lay the Schluter this way because I'm going to run my trowel lines um, from right to left towards the door. So then that means my, my Schluter will be going in the opposite direction of my trowel lines, which will make it easier for us to roll it out flat. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Step one is to cut it so that we have our pieces to lay. So let me get you that. Okay, so just as a quick um, example here. Basically what I did is I just, I took the measurement of the room from side to side, right, 59 inches. Then I'm cutting three pieces 59 inches long. And I'm doing it this way instead of running it long ways because um, to me this is easier when you're troweling um, to have the big roll and trying to unroll a long distance. It's a little bit harder. This makes it a little bit easier on you, I think. So I'm going to be running my trowel lines to the shortest distance of my piece so that when I'm rolling it over, the air comes out and I can get nice, good co nice full coverage underneath the membrane. So now what I'm doing is I'm just running, since I dry laid this and I cut out my piece for my toilet flange, I'm just grabbing a pencil and I'm just making a mark next to my piece. Now all this is doing is showing me where I'm going to run my first row. And so when I'm throwing my thin set down and I'm moving quickly because I don't want it to dry, I know where to trowel to. It's like a beginning and end point. It's just a guide. It takes nothing to do that, but it helps you to get an idea of where you have to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Put this down. Um, so this stuff is super easy to cut. I just use a knife with a nice sharp blade. Um, and it's very easy. So this piece is hitting the door jam here. So I'm just going to take my knife and cut it away. That's it. No big deal. Okay, so now that once you have everything laid out, it's all fit, I'm going to roll these back up and put them in order. I'm gonna mix up some thin set and then we'll put it down and I'll show you just how to do that. Okay guys, so now after you have your pieces all cut, it's time to mix up your thin set. So, um, since we're using Schluter Dietra, they recommend using um, All Set, which is a modified thin set, which is again, recommended by Schluter to use for this application. Um, so, always, Listen to the instructions on the bag, and specifically when you're mixing the thin set for the Dietra application, you want to mix it a little bit more wet than you normally would. Following the instructions on the bag, you want to mix it for five initially, then you want to let it slake for 10 minutes, and then once it's finished slaking, you're going to mix it again for another three minutes. So right now, my thin set is slaking. Once it's done, I'm going to give it another quick mix, and you can kind of see the consistency here. It's a lot. A lot more loose it's not as heavy and thick so 
Um, it needs to be a little bit more wet for this application. Once it's done, we'll bring it upstairs and we'll get to setting. All right guys, so now you mix your thin set, bring it upstairs, um, you have all your pieces cut ready to go. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, like I have here in sections, I take a sponge, and I just wet the substrate. Um, what this does is, it sucks up the moisture from the water instead of sucking out the moisture from your thin set before you're able to get your membrane down and roll it out. Um, you wanna make sure that you keep the wetness in your thin set, so you have to work rather quickly. So I like wet the, wet the substrate and it also pulls up any extra little dust that you might have stuck there um, to get it as clean as possible. So wet the substrate, then what you're going to do is you're going to key in the substrate. This is taking the flat side of your Dietra trowel, this is Schluter Dietra we're installing, so you're gonna use the Dietra trowel. Use the flat side, and you key it in, burn it in, whatever term you wanna use. Then you go back over the keyed in area with your notches. That's, those are the steps. Wipe, key, trowel, roll out your membrane. Okay, so after I lay the piece down, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to roll it out with a roller, or you can also use a, um, a wooden float. It's a little bit harder to use that. Um, I recommend getting a roller. I just got this one from Lowe's. Um, and then you wanna roll out the entire piece. The purpose of that is to collapse the ridges and get a very good bond between this membrane and the substrate. So I'm gonna do that now. Starting from one end and then working my way around. So. Okay guys, so I forgot to film an outro for the Dietra video while we were working, so this is my outro. So now once the Dietra is all laid, the only next steps would be is to tile, or if you were waterproofing the entire floor, then you wanna band your seams. Um, but since we weren't doing that, the next step, you can go right into tiling the same day with Schluter Dietra. Um, so I'll just quickly run you through the steps again. Step one, after you self-level and you prep the subfloor is to wet the substrate. This allows to um, not pull out the moisture of the thin set so quickly because it is going to be a wetter mixture. And then also um, it's to pick up any like dust that is left on the floor. You wanna make sure that the substrate is as clean as possible. So you wanna wet it first. Next is you wanna burn it in with the flat side of your trowel. And then you're going to go back with the notches on the trowel on the floor, sorry, substrate, but. So anyway, um, then after that, you lay down the Dietra and then you wanna roll it. You wanna make sure you're collapsing all the ridges. Um, a lot of people say to try to use gray thin set here to allow you to be able to see the coverage through the orange waffles. Um, it does help, 
So that's a good little tip. You can use the gray thin set for the Dietra install, um, but really it's just you know color preference and it might help you a little bit down the line. Um, so yeah, that concludes this video. I hope you liked it. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you have not already. Show some love, drop a comment, and let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.